Hey everybody, it's Doc Green, the Road Scholar, coming back at you. I did a video the other day, didn't realize there was no audio. I was hooked to my Bluetooth set that was not on at the time. Anyway, I had to want to redo the video. It's how to become a millionaire while driving a truck. Actually, this video could be used for any job, pretty much. The basic principles of becoming a millionaire are very simple. First, you're going to have to be debt-free. You have to pay off all your debts, get them out of the way, and then you have to uh, invest in your future. Now, there are steps to do this. Uh, I watched uh, or heard Dave Ramsey. I bought his book years ago, all these blah, blah, blah things. Um, I've done, I've researched a lot of videos, a lot of courses. I've bought books. I've tried, you know, trying to figure out how to get my life back on track. Um, then I implemented Dave Ramsey's plan, Seven Baby Steps, and it works. It's worked for me. It's working for my family. It's working for my youngest son. It's working for my uh, oldest son. And my daughters are on track to start their debt-free life here pretty soon. Anyway, so to give you the basic steps on how to become a millionaire while driving a truck. Two different ways. Owner-operator, company driver. Company driver, yes, company drivers can become millionaires just by driving a truck. Uh, owner operators, you're going to have to look at the business aspect, and I'll get into that as we go on with this little video to tell you what you need to do. It's same basic steps, but you have to look at your business as well as your personal life. Uh, going in your personal life, anyone pretty much can become a millionaire in America. It's it's millionaires aren't really anything anymore. There's over uh, 1,700 millionaires created every day, every single day in our country. Um, most of them have uh, worked for it. A uh, few of them have uh, got inheritance and things like that, but most of them have worked for it. So here's how you got to do. First is get debt free. In order to get debt free, though, you have to have a little bit of money. You have to have a job. Our job driving trucks, we make pretty decent money. I wouldn't say great money, but it's decent money. Well, how can I be, become a millionaire on decent money? Simple. First thing you need to do, first step number one is... Uh, Get a thousand dollars emergency fund set aside. One thousand dollars. Put this in a bank or money market account. It doesn't have to draw a lot of interest or anything. It's just there for emergencies. This is going to do two things. One, if you have an emergency in your personal life, you'll be able to handle it and you won't be stressed about it. Number two, it's going to relieve you of a lot of stress. It's going to it's going to take a lot of burden off your mind. Think about oh, what happens if this happens or what happens if that happens or what happens if I have a flat tire in my car or the wife. Uh, has a flat tire or the car breaks down, you got $1,000 in an emergency fund to take care of most emergencies. Now, will some pop up that it costs more than that? Yes, and we'll get into that later. But $1,000 as quickly as you can into a savings account or money market account or something that you can access quickly if you have to because it's an emergency. But emergency funds are not really for emergencies. They're more for peace of mind, stress relief, and you won't be worried about as many things. Once you get the $1,000 in your account, that money is not to be touched except for an emergency. And the pizza man showing up at your door and you're a little bit short on your money if you got the money in an envelope at home or something is not an emergency. Um, going into Walmart and seeing a, some video game for sale for the kids for Christmas is not an emergency. That $1,000 is for emergencies. Once you have that, I want you to take all your debts. Some of you guys driving trucks out here are students, just can't, or were students, just came into driving trucks. You've already accumulated debt before you ever made a dime to learn how to drive a truck to make a better living. So you're already starting off in debt. Some of you have credit card debts. Some of you have debts you owe uh, automobiles, cars, uh, other things, you know, personal loans, whatever. I want you to list all your debts from lowest to highest. We're going to do what we call the snowball effect. Now, there's two ways of doing a snowball effect on your debt. But I want to talk about the lowest to highest one first. And I'm going to talk about the interest rate, highest to lowest. After you list all your debts from lowest to highest, you keep making your minimum payments that you're making on all of these. But on your lowest one, you're going to, take, you're going to shove a little bit of extra money towards it until you get it paid off. Whatever you can afford to get that first one knocked out. Once that first one's knocked out, you're going to take the money you were paying on it, plus a little extra money, and you're going to shove that onto your second one with the money you're currently paying on your second debt. So it's going to get a bigger amount going to that second debt, hitting it faster, harder. Once the second one's paid off, you're going to take the money from the first and second one, and you're going to start tacking that third debt, third highest debt. And you're going to continue doing this until you get all of your debts paid off. 
Exception is IRS. If you owe the IRS money, that goes to the top of the priority list. Why? Because they charge the highest interest rate. It's crazy the amount of interest rate they charge. And you want to get them knocked out first because you got, you're not going to get any extra money as long as the IRS is hitting you. Not going to happen. Um, anyway, once you get up to the third, fourth debt, you're kidding until you paid them off your fifth debt, whatever, just to keep attacking it. Same thing you've done. Take the money from the first four and you apply all that money to your fifth debt. By the time you get to your highest debt, which either be your car or your student loans, probably not include your mortgage. Everybody, this does not include mortgage. All your debts except mortgage. Then you're going to pay off all of them. Once they're all paid off and you're out of debt, except for your mortgage, then you're going to start saving up three to six months worth of savings so that whenever you can, after that three to six months is up, you can start attacking your home mortgage. You're going to apply all the money that you've been applying to your student loans and, and your other debts and your credit cards and everything else. You're going to apply those and start hitting that uh, mortgage debt and get that sucker paid off in, as soon as you can. For those of you that have a 30-year mortgage, right now is a best time to refinance your home for a 15-year uh, mortgage. Um, people go, well, I'm going to keep my 30-year mortgage because if something happens, I have some leeway. If you do your plan right, nothing's going to happen. Get a 15-year mortgage, and even you even attack it fast, you should have it paid off in about eight to nine years. Mine will take about four years. Uh, of course, I only owe, uh, we're getting our mortgage is like 165 but anyway, it's a four-year mortgage. That's what we're hitting. Uh, we're hit 15-year mortgage. We, our target date is to pay it off in four years. Um, also, same step. While you're attacking your debt, your mortgage, you also need to be investing at least 15% of your check into a, either a Roth IRA or a Roth 401k, or if your company offers a regular 401k, whatever, you need to be putting at least 15% of your uh, income into one of those. Now, if you're doing a 401k, a regular 401k, I would do it up to whatever the company matches. 3% is what my company matches. I'm putting 3% of my income in that, and I put the other 12% in a Roth IRA. The reason is the Roth IRA taxes my money before it goes in, so any money that I make in my investments over the next 10, 15 years is tax-free. 401k, regular 401k does not work that way. You're putting money in there pre-tax, so as you pull it out, it's going to get taxed. And I'd rather them tax my uh, money that I'm putting in over the next uh, 15 years. Let's say it's 100000 I'd rather, of course, it's going to be more than that, but I'd rather them tax that 100000 ahead of time than try to tax, uh, tax my million later. Capital gains taxes are a monster. And I'm giving Uncle Sam as little as I can. And you should do the same. But anyway, once you uh, got your 15% going on every year and everything, and you got, here's the thing, people go, well, I can't afford 15% with all the debt I have. Uh, go back. Remember, we paid off all that debt before we started putting in the 15%, 20%. <clears throat> and guys, the amount of freedom that's going to come. You're going to be so relieved on stress. You're going to be so relieved that you don't have to pay any debts. You got your income coming in. Your mortgage is getting paid off early. Your investments are going to be set for retirement. So you don't have to worry about Uncle Sam or Social Security Department or company pension plans and go bankrupt or default or whatever. You don't have to worry about any of that because you're planning for your own future. And you're going to have money in the bank. And you're going to have money in these Roth IRAs and everything. And it's going to be compounding. I'll get into compounding interest on another video later, but right now, just suffice to know, <clears throat> this is the way to become a millionaire. Driving a truck, owner-operators, a little bit different. Owner-operators, y'all need to follow the same steps, but your emergency fund, you got to separate your business from your personal. And I've already talked about that in other videos before. <clears throat> now, earlier videos, I talked about business credit. Um, and, and it's a good thing to build, I guess, if you need it. I no longer use business credit or anything, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, um, you had to need an emergency fund a little bit larger for your business than you do for your personal life. As an owner-operator, you need to have at least a $5,000 emergency fund because we know how much things cost out here in these big trucks. Your expenses, you've got to separate your business expenses from your company expenses. And I've tried to tell people this before. If you're an owner-operator, you register as an LLC. And you keep your business and your personal completely separated. Once your business is separated, you start paying off your... If you are on your truck still, man, 
You got to pay off your debts as fast as you can and attack that truck as quick as hard as can because as soon as it's yours, it's yours. You're still going to have maintenance problems on it and everything, but you're not going to be owing any loans. Remember, the key to all of this is getting debt free. Um, so the amount of emergency fund you're going to need is going to be a little bit higher for your for your uh, trucks, for your personal for your business than it is for your personal life. But same thing goes: attack your business debts hard and get them out of the way fast. Now the difference is in business, you're always going to have debts come up. Uh, you know, you're going to your truck may break down, whatever. But your emergency fund is supposed to take care of that. Anyway, that's the way to become a millionaire. And I don't care if you're working at McDonald's or, or wherever. The same thing applies. You've got to get out of debt. So you've got to cut down your expenses. Like a lot of people go, well, after my bills, I don't have any money to put any extra money on my debt. Then you need to cut out some of your bills. If you have a cable TV, you need to cut it out. Uh, if you have an internet trash, you need to cut it out. You need to do whatever it takes to be able to pay off your debts. Get debt free. People understand what I'm saying. Get debt free as fast and as hard as you can. Get debt free. Then start investing some of your money. Woo, I haven't got much sleep. Uh, if he's taking a nap here in a little bit. But anyway, get debt free as fast as you can. That is the key to becoming a millionaire in America. <clears throat> you young guys, anyone under the age of 30 driving trucks out here, not only can you become a millionaire, you can become a multi millionaire. If you're putting 100 hundred, two hundred $200 a month into a Roth IRA, mutual funds, growth mutual funds, things like that, drawing in at interest rates, pretty good. Uh, mine's drawing in at 20% right now. It has been averaging 20% for the last few years. Rather that keeps up, I don't know. But you guys can graduate with super, super money. You guys can grad, or not graduate. You guys can retire five, six million dollars by the time you're, you know, retirement age. Anyway, that's my advice. That's this video, uh, and I'm going to repost it. And sorry, guys, for the ones that didn't have any audio. Again, didn't realize I was still hooked up to my Bluetooth. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one.